Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, we're out here on a Monday. We're out in lovely Saigon, Vietnam. Of course, it did rain all day and uh, we've got the stuff fully ordered for the at-home studio. There's a few more things I had to get. I did just get a generic capture card and sell of Elgato, so we're gonna try a cheaper one. I think for what we're doing, it'll be all right. But in today's video, we are gonna talk, are Vietnamese women jealous? Is romantic jealousy alive and well in Vietnam? Well, first things first, I can tell you this is a yes. Uh, I love you, my wife. You're fantastic. Great to be with you. Miss you. Hope you're having a great day at work. But from what I have found, this, this does uh, seem to be true to a, a, a scale, you know. And this is like anywhere in the world. It's, I'm not a big generalization guy. I think you know this about me. So uh, I think any woman can be jealous. Any man can be jealous. You know, these, these are all traits that a human can have. So let me get into it. Let me start reading. For the past two years, Duke Thon has feared going home after work because he knows his wife will wake in bed for a midnight interrogation. Thon, 34 years old, is the head of a marketing department of an enterprise. Most of the subsidies are female. The company has a friendly working environment. Employees and bosses often eat lunch together, share food, or go out for coffee. Before we go to the next thing, there is a little bit of a problem with the way that they do working environment here in that sort of way, to be honest with you. Like, I will tell you, they're, uh, I'm not the type of guy that gets worried about that shit. I'm not like a jealous person at all. It's in fact like one of my better traits is almost a, maybe a lack thereof too, is I have a complete just lack of uh, jealousy. It's not, it's not the way I operate. But there's definitely way too many stories and way too many things where you see way too many women getting a little way too chummy with their uh, Vietnamese dude co-workers here and vice versa. I've seen it, seen it, heard it. And you know, the, the big thing before we continue back into the article is due to the way that the culture is in Vietnam, you're expected to get married, you know, if you're a, a woman in your early 20s late teens even better and same with a man and start having children you know this is not a newly fresh country out of war but you know moderately out of a, a place of where they were attempted to be conquered a few times so of course they still had that leftover mindset of we gotta up you know have, have kids have population keep shit going so there's definitely still even now to date a tradition like that where, where families would, would desire very much so if they have a daughter that she gets married in her early 20s and starts to have children before there's any kind of issues or complications to foster the uh, the lineage of the family line for it. So it's not like China where you know if you're born in a certain time period and if you're a girl you're pretty much undesirable to uh, to the family, to the dad and the parent and the mom, you know. China for a very long time just only wanted men for children. And this is why they have a population problem now. But uh, I don't know that that's ever been a really a thing in Vietnam. I'm sure it is to a degree, but it's, it's not nearly as bad. And I happen to have uh, firsthand you know, experience with these things. I'm married to a Vietnamese and uh, yeah. One of my past relationships with a girl, I just happen to know a lot about it due to reasons of that. But, uh, yeah, I think that the problem is, is uh, you see infidelity and jealousy in higher rates here because of that that need to, uh, you know, get cuffed up and not really experience too many partners in life and immediately go into marriage, children, you know. So I would imagine that naturally you would see uh, fidelity, infidelity, as a result of, uh, you know, these such things. Uh, we are going to talk about this more in detail on a Patreon video today. So if you want to sign up for Patreon, there's additional videos on there. Sometimes there's a video every week. Sometimes there's five videos on one day and one week. Sometimes there's three videos every week. 
Patreon always changes. It's also the way that you can access me um, and set up a tour. You know, you need to give me a, about a month's head notice to confirm that I'm even here during that tour stay. And then a week before you're coming in for the tour, we reconfirm the actual dates again. It's kind of how that works. So Patreon will allow you to see additional content, which is really good in my opinion. Support me if you wanted to support me in some kind of way. Patreon's the way to go. And like I said, you can set up a private tour when you're here through there and you can uh, see all the additional content and then have direct access to me. All the live streaming I do on kick.com. So let's get back to the article. I think I'm doing I actually really thought this one out. So it should be pretty good. At first, Dan's wife. No. Nope. Knew the company culture and was comfortable with it. But everything changed after she had the first baby. Now every day, Beach calls her husband to check in where he is and what he's doing. I know that. So again, this is we're going to talk about this on Patreon. So if you want additional content and you want to hear really me go in on this in the great detail, uh, yeah, Patreon. But that's kind of what we do on Patreon. I give you more of what I would love to be able to put on a, a public YouTube channel. I only break. I only have an hour break, but my wife keeps pestering me on the phone. She tells me to talk to our child, who is barely a few months old. Savage. When he arrives home after work, his wife demands and let her read all the messages on his phone. Now that's fucked up. There's no way I'm letting anybody do that. I think, you know, I think the phone is a pretty big deal of like, the phone's a pretty big deal of like your personal, who you are. And, you know, I've always had this thought since I'm an IT guy, and you know, I've been in it since the beginning. You know, the phone is now, whether you like it or not, the phone is an extension of, of your inner thoughts, your soul almost, can't have you. So to give someone access to that like that, you know, at a whim of a, a moment is not, is not the way. And there's also things that people don't need to see. Even your most closest intimate lover, like context is key to things. And uh, I think things can get misstrewed out of context pretty quickly. And I think sometimes you don't know the relationship between two people, even if you're with somebody from their past. I mean, there's so much stuff that goes on with that kind of stuff that I think that's a, a really slippery slope, the phone thing. I would never, ever look in anybody's phone. I've never looked in anybody's phone. I've never wanted to. I'll take that back one time with one girl when I knew shit was starting to go sideways. I was so frustrated and just wanted to know what was happening that I did contemplate when she was in the shower one day, just like, as her phone's chirping, because I'm like, some dude's texting her. I wanted to check it and just see it, just like get the, get the closure on my own head, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. And it probably might've been better if I would've, but then, you know, I would've crossed into a step of doing that. And I don't want to be, like I said, I don't think that that's a, a, a great a great idea but I think overall for this stuff is it's how you are as a man and how you present as a man to your your girlfriend or wife are you giving her reasons to have this kind of like I think what this guy might be leaving out of this thing is he might be on his phone a little bit but he might be acting a little bit different too they're you know they're coincidentally saying it's when the baby but it could also be not even coincidental, you know. Point two. So, like, this whole article keeps going on for like pages and pages and pages. Since she began to stay at home taking care of the newborn child, knock Dan's wife gained weight, spend less time styling her hair, and must dress exactly as her husband wants her if they ever go out. I was afraid that. He was sick of me. He has become more distant and talked so terribly, tersely. I don't know what tersely. I've never heard tersely. I've never heard that word. T-E-R-S-E-L-Y. 
I'm not like a genius. I thought I knew most words. Never heard that one. Experts said the unjustified jealousy can also stem from past psychological, psychological trauma. For example, a person who lacks personal love as a child or is betrayed by someone they knew often becomes suspicious and finds it difficult to trust and love. So, I mean, this article goes on and on about this. I can talk about it. I've heard stories from this from so many people. I have, you know, experience in my own personal relationship with my wife. So, I mean, you let me know what you think in the comment section. I don't think any woman anywhere is particularly more women, uh, more jealous than any woman of any race anywhere. I think it's the environment. It's so many things like we talked about in the video. So, let me know what you think. If you want to watch me live stream, it's at kick.com forward slash fat and broke. Like I said, if you want to see the uh, additional content to this video now, sign up for the Patreon. This, this is going to go up simultaneously with this video. Stay frosty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, night, evening, wherever you're at. Beautiful. Thank you. Peace out.